Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. most effectively. The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Beautiful strike. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Checks that leg kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Beautiful level change. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, 
side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Ninety seconds to go in our opening round. I mean, how many can he take? Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Under a minute now to go. Five seconds remain in the round. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the fight. defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Final seconds here of round one. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're going to turn to your knees, he'll take you back and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's 
it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's actions with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of power. You got to go back to guys like Mark Munoz. They used to call him the Filipino smashing machine yeah. because he was so good with his ground and pound, and this guy shows that same exact type of approach. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through and order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the deck. Oh! Good punch land. Single collar tie now. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nirago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skills every single day. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Throwing that jab now again. The fight is Bates. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Straight right is there. And he comes through with a big knee. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And he landed the right hand there. Nurmagomedov's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Right on the button. Big punch land. Ooh. There's that head kick. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help. And he lands the knee to the body now. Got the single collar tie. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> he has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, he lands often. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, I'll try again, he's ever getting down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Nice moving punch. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he caught the kick. <laughs> Just misses with a left hook there. Round three next. All right, the round is over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown.
Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, looks like he's got a cut above the eye here. Punch over the top. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh! He's a oh. He's a He didn't like that left hand. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Effective strike there by Nermago Medov. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. No! Oh, huge right hand! So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. No! All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of this back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Another elbow from the clinch lands. Well, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Gets up again here, but hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Nice. Oh! Holy smokes! one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got...